Micah chapter 3. And I said, God said, Here I pray you, O heads of Jacob. So pray is not just oh, get down on your knees, get out of your bed. Prayer is a request. It's a plea. And God uses the word prayer when he deals with people. So we need to take our prayer and be a little more honorable to it because realize that God, when he speaks down to man, will use the word, I pray you. It's not something just to quote out of a book. It's not something, all right, here's my prayer and I'm done, Lord. O heads of Jacob, rulers of Israel, and ye princes of the house of Israel, the twelve tribes, is it not for you to know judgment? Yes. You got five books of your Old Testament that Moses wrote for you to know what's right and wrong. You say this day and age in 2016, Find me somewhere in the Bible between Genesis 1 and Revelation 22 that someone doesn't know what sex they are. You find where you get pedophiles on that, what the Bible says, how to treat them. And it's not to put them in prison. And believe me, I have all right to say that. Do you know what judgment is? We'll have people come up to us often. Judge not, least ye be judged. You don't know what you're saying. When that man and woman stand before the preacher, before they say, I do, you better be judging. You better be judging that woman is worthy, that that man is worthy of to be your spouse. You ought to use judgment when you step in that crosswalk to make sure you don't get flattened by vehicles. Oh, I'm going to crosswalk. It's the law. You have to stop. And evidently, we're at this point at 730 B.C. that they don't know what judgment is. They don't know what God has laid out for them because they're not doing. Because look what it says. Now, this is not a description of America. We're getting there. Who hate the good and love the evil. What is our media focus today on evil and sin? Who will they bash? Those that do good. And it's the same thing about Somewhere around 33 A.D. Compared to Jesus and Barabbas, who did the people love? Barabbas was a criminal. Insurrection against the government, against the people. I believe it says he even murdered. I'm not sure of that. Jesus. Pilate. And Herod proclaimed four times, I find no fault in this man. Satan, through Judas, walks up to the priest and said, I have betrayed innocent blood. Who went to the cross that afternoon? Why is it, and I don't think it, it's, Coincidental. I don't believe the word co coincidental. But why is it when I can go down and preach down the spot we preach on, and there's cops there? And why is it when there's a real crime going on, there are no cops? I have had many times in my life, even where I had to call 911, and it took the cops forever. Well, you tell them someone's preaching on the street, someone's knocking on your door. There they are right away. Who pluck off their skin from off them and their flesh from off their bones. 
Now, the only thing I can see closer to that today is surgery. Cancer. Body parts being removed from cancer. What is it in Micah's time? I know, but didn't the law say you weren't to make marks and cuttings in yourself? Do you take Micah 3, 2, literally? Yes. The law said you're not to print marks and you're to make no cuttings for or in the flesh, which is for the dead. They are doing exactly what the law says not to in comparison to, you know, tattooed. Here they're cutting themselves. They do that over in Asia for the, the punishment and the payment of their sins on glass and stairs and cut themselves open in the name of their God, of course. They're doing penance. Now, we're going to see a particular religion here who we got to mention it because we got to mention it because here it is in the Old Testament long before this church ever showed up and we're the church of Jesus Christ in a pig's eyeball who also eat the flesh of my people we can part there do you take that verse literally what did it say in Lamentations wasn't there a time in uh, in first Samuel or the Kings that there was a famine in the land, and this woman boiled their baby, and came the next day, and she said, okay, let's boil your baby. Oh, no, we can't find the baby. And Solomon had to come up with judgment. Didn't he use proper judgment? All right, so we see penance in verse 2, who eat the flesh of my people, Jewish people. John 1 says he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Jesus is Jewish. So when you stand before your congregation and say, this bread is the body of Jesus Christ, and you say it, it's in your books, it's in your catechism, that that body and that blood is Jesus' blood. Who eat the flesh of my people. You are eating a you claim to eat Jewish flesh. Many years before you even started the Mass, the Mass shows up in Micah 3. That mystery Babylon, she has a cup in her hand with blood of the saints. Jewish blood. The bon appetit, the the, the meal of the Antichrist. As he will cut off the heads of Jewish people and drink their blood. This is prophecy. This is going on in Micah. This is going on in one church seven days a week. As they partake of Jesus' body and blood who eat the flesh of my people. Who also say who hate the good and love the evil. You know who the worst people are ever to witness the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ? You can go up to a Muslim. And he'll tell you about Jesus. Oh, you know, that's foolish. Jesus was a prophet. He was a good teacher. A Muslim will tell you that. You go to a Jehovah Witness. Well, you know, he was, you know, he was a good teacher. He was, yeah. A Mormon. They just try to pedal their bikes and get out of the way. You tell a Roman Catholic what to buy. <laughs> Man, they'll chew you out and spit you good. They're the most grumpiest, angriest people ever in the world. Because they have a religion that's against the Bible. The hardest people ever to witness to are Roman Catholics. The hardest people to ever get into the Bible. If you can get them in the Bible and they read something like this, who also eat the flesh of my... Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. They flay their skin from off them. You know what you know what you do with fish? That's what these people are doing to the Jewish people. They are filleting 
the Jewish people as they would a fish. They break their bones and chop them in pieces. As for the pots, stew, Jewish stew, and as flesh within the cauldron, you know, to make soup. Use every part. We haven't come to that part yet in America. But we'll take the body parts of an unborn baby and use it for our own good, won't we? The food hasn't been cut off enough yet for us to go to verse 3. Will God go that far? I have no idea. But it will happen in the tribulation period. Because there will be a great famine throughout the whole land. Unless you see, receive that mark. Then shall they cry unto the Lord. Then. So it hasn't happened yet. This is going to be the siege of the cities. And we read in Lamentation, it does happen. But he will not hear them. This is life without God unto trouble. There are people who have heard the gospel, heard the gospel, have rejected the gospel, have rejected the gospel. In their time of trouble, they're going to call upon God. And he's not going to hear them. That verse will definitely fit at the great white throne judgment. Definitely. God ain't going to hear it. He will even hide his face from them at that time. At that time. A specific time. What could be worse in your life? When you come to at that time in your life and you are in complete darkness. You are in complete trouble. You are just absolutely and there will be no help. You gonna turn to Satan? Satan rules. Satan. You gonna turn? Do you think he's gonna do anything for you? Turn to God. Oh, turn to that God I've heard preach. No. And you find that in Proverbs one. You find that all over the place in the Bible. The love of God was at Calvary. God's not willing that any should should perish. God's long suffering, but you know. If your heart ain't right and will not get right and God says that there's only two means of being sorry godly sorrow or I was caught you can't walk up to God and say oh I was caught I'm sorry Lord and then God okay I'll buy you all that no that's not gonna work That man that was in hell that Jesus told tell me when he repented of his sins. They don't repent of their sins in hell. He will even hide his face from them at that time as they have behaved themselves ill. Ill that's always a, ill. Ill in their doings. So you know what they're doing? They're sick. You know what all the people in Daytona Beach that we deal with and, and witness to in Lucia County that get the gospel, you know what they're doing? They're doing sickening things. And what not that the expression sick? He's just sick. Go see a shrink. He's sick. Where do you get that from? Micah chapter 3 verse 4. It's a sick society. Micah 3, 4. Where, where do you get these expressions? Anybody ever ask? Honey, you see what this is on the paper? You hear what this sick guy did? Micah 3, 4. They're always trying to change the Bible, but they come right back to the Bible. 
Thus saith the Lord concerning the prophet. Uh-oh. Here's the preacher. That make my people err to do wrong. Here are preachers that make God's people do wrong. How do you make them? They're just a bunch of dumb sheep and they'll follow that guy anywhere. <coughs> the preacher said it, so I must do it. Preacher said it, I must believe it. Oh, preacher, old oh, preacher, old oh, preacher. And they never, never check the Bible out. Well, my priest says it so. Holy priest, holy father, oh, virtue of Christ. Oh, and never check the Bible. Oh, Father, such and such, and never knew what Jesus said about calling them your father. That bite with their teeth. Food. Living off them by their wrong. They're making them do wrong, and they're giving the guy the money, and they're living off the people. And they cry. Peace. Don't preach hell. That turns the people away. Don't sound so angry. It's supposed to be love and butterflies and with little Easter bunny. And little Santa Claus coming down bringing kids to the bad kids. That's just as well as the good kids. Got to give them some kind of thing. Even if it's coal, they're, they're bad. They still get something. Peace. And he that putteth not into their mouths. That church that sits in Rome has the most... What can I say? Poverty nations that it sits on. They don't go feed their people. They don't start hospitals. Protestants start the hospital. Baptists go in with medicine. Baptists go in with uh, dentists to help the people. Oh, my Catholic Church. It's a lie. Then even prepare war against him. Let's say, Lord, concerning the prophets that make my people err, they even prepare war against him. They gotta be those prophets. So who starts the biggest wars? Religion, Muslims, Romans. Look at all that the that the, the Mormons caused this country for battles. So they can have extra wives and, and steal other people's wives. Therefore, night shall be unto you. Darkness. Just before the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. They... Now, excuse me, that ye shall not have a vision. No dreams, no God, no speaking. I don't know what to say. And it shall be dark unto you. No light. That ye shall not divine. No light, no fruit. No truth. No messages. No preaching, no outline. No healing. And the sun shall go down over the prophets. Death. Sun is light. And the day shall be dark over them. They don't know right from wrong. And when the day does come, it's still darkness. You know, if you were to get a bunch of priests in a room at night and shut off the lights, you wouldn't see any of them except their white little tags. They fit right into darkness, don't they? Them and the nuns.
They dress in darkness. They worship darkness. Then shall the seers, another religious part, be ashamed. And diviners. Ooh, we're getting into magic now. You mean to tell me we got magic and, and prophets and priests and mixed in with the religion? No, we wouldn't have magic and all that mixed in, would we? He is, he corporate is, hocus pocus, become a body from a piece of bread. That's magic. That's a magic show that's performed every day because there are Catholics who will take part in that magic show every day. If you're a very devout Catholic, you will go to the church every day to, for the guy to get up there. And he just doesn't have a magic wand. And he just put a couple words and boom. Now you got, you got a body and blood. Diviners. They divine. They'll say, St. John the Divine. They can tell the future. Crystal balls, tea leaves, horoscopes. And the sun shall go down over the prophets. Oh, wait, I went. Verse 7. Then shall the seers be ashamed and the diviners be confounded. Yea, they shall all cover their lips. Shh. Shh. Don't say nothing. You know another place in the Bible says they were to cover their lip? When they're outside the camp, outside the city, they're, they're not allowed in the gates and they got leprosy. And they say, I'm clean, I'm clean, get away from me, I'm unclean, I got leprosy, get away from me. That's a great cross reference, isn't it? God is likened them to an unclean leper. It also could be, shh. For there is no answer of God. Why isn't God answering? It wasn't that Saul in the last days of his life. Bring me the ephah. God's not speaking to me. Bring me, uh, uh, bring me the witch of Endor. Silence. He will not answer. There are churches today, Baptist churches, that have magic in them. How far will you go? Oh, it's Christian magic. Mm -hmm. But truly, I am full of power by the Spirit of the Lord. Oh, here's a contrast. And of judgment. I got the judgment. Verse 1. Michael said, hey, I got the Holy Spirit and I know what judgment is. And of might to declare unto Jacob his transgression and to Israel his sin. That's what Michael's been doing all along. Don't you let anybody, when you're witnessing, tell, oh, don't talk about sin, don't talk about hell. Why? Michael said, I will. Isaiah says, cry aloud, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, show my people their transgression." Hear this. Listen, I pray you. Again, it's a plea to the people. Ye heads of the house of Jacob. It's going right back to verse 1. And princes of the house of Israel. That abhor judgment. You hate it. You despise it. You hate the writings of Moses. Do you know anybody who you've dealt with that hate the Bible? And prevert all equity. This is talking about the law of Moses because this is the only thing they have about judgment. And when Jesus shows up, oh, Moses and Abraham, Moses and Abraham, Moses and Abraham, Moses and Abraham. Yeah, really. And he says, if that was true, you wouldn't seek to kill me. What do you mean try to kill? We're not going to kill you. And a bunch of you come. Hey, isn't that the man you were going to kill? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. They build up Zion 
with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. Now let's go to chapter 2, verse 1. Woe to them that devise iniquity and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it because it is in the power of their hand. They covet fields and take them by violence and houses and take them away. So they oppress a man in his house, even a man in his heritage. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, behold, against this family do I devise evil from which ye shall not remove your necks, neither shall ye go hauntly, for this, for this time is evil. They built up Zion with blood and Jerusalem with iniquity. Micah is now turned to Judah and saying, you built that city on blood. And Jesus backs them up. And when he preaches to them, he says, you, from the blood of Abel to the blood of Zacharias, is it? And points the finger at them. They are building the civic cities, the government places, on people's blood and sin. What would be sin? We're going to take money from gambling, scratch off cards, and we're going to support the education system with it. And you expect good? Well, see, we're going to allow the casino to come into our town to give us money so we can build on sin. We're going to legalize marijuana so people can go baked out of their minds and go drive along with being stoned and cocked and spec good. They are building a city with murder and building the city with sin. Just legalizing it. I wonder if you got to pay taxes on abortion. I don't know. The heads, verse 1, and we just read it here early, later. The heads thereof judge for reward, bribery, to get a government contract. To get free stuff. To get advantage. You think that happens in America? And the priests thereof teach for hire. We'll start a college and you pay us. And for what you pay us, we'll just give you a piece of paper. Where did it say in the law when the priests were to teach the people that they were supposed to get a profit out of it? Where were they supposed to get their, their meal? Where were they supposed to get their, their living? What came to the altar? They've taken a job on the side. They've taken a second job. They're moonlighting. What they're supposed to be doing that God told them to do, they say, hey, we'll start a school and you pay us. And the prophets, therefore, divine for money. So where do you see set up? And I can think of plenty of places in my lifetime I've seen with my eyeball. You see a little storefront, psychic, a visor. And I love when the place is closed. Yeah, you really saw a lot. There's one right down here in International. Big, psychic. Tell the future. With a sign that says for rent. Very, yeah, you were very good psychic in the future. Dial, when I grew up with Dow 1900 to talk to your 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 psychic advisor 999 a, a minute or something like that go out to the store and buy a Ouija board oh mr. Ouija please tell me yes yes yet will they lean, lean upon the Lord and say is not the Lord amongst us? None evil can come upon us. See, you got to understand, we're in this religion, but God's with us. God approves of what we're doing. 
See, we have that tree in our church. It's, it's, it's just a tradition. We do it in the name of Christ. We do it because it's a Baptist name. The Lord is amongst us. None evil can come upon Nothing bad's going to happen to us. We'll be all fine. A few more candles and a few more prayers and you'll get out of purgatory in time. There's no hell. There's no death. There's limbo. Don't preach hell. You offend the people. Therefore, shall Zion, Jerusalem, for your sake, your sake, be plowed as a field. You know more buildings? Destruction. You know what a plow does? It breaks, it tears, it... And you know, they didn't have John Deere tractors back then. What would be doing the plowing? Animals. You know what the animals would be doing naturally while they're plowing? They'd be plowing and pooping. So while they'll be breaking up the ground, they're putting manure on it. Great holy ground. We had a word for that when I grew up. Holy, you know, can't say it. Jerusalem shall become heaps. Read Lamentations. Read Nehemiah. A heap is not a building. A heap is not a house. And the mountain of the house, that's the temple. Of the house as the high places of the forest. Trees and weeds have overcome. Why? Because of you. For your sake. Not for Christ's sake, not for God's sake, because of your sake, your sin will bring destruction. And Micah speaks in this chapter to the heads of the people who are supposed to know better. You're supposed to bring the people out of their sin in righteousness with God, but you are divining, uh, yeah, 20 bucks, I'll give you a lesson. 250 and I'll give you a newspaper you can see what your horoscope is going to be and with all their divining they can't tell the people that the city is going to be destroyed as a matter of fact when we read when we study Jeremiah they're saying anything but oh don't believe what Jeremiah is saying Babylon's going to come in here we're going to kick their butt we're going we got the power of God with us isn't that what they were saying, Jeremiah? Micah said it. You're going to say, none evil come upon. That's exactly what they were saying in Jeremiah. Let me look up something real quick here. Just a, take a, Just a quick look here. Let's say Jeremiah 6.29, Micah 7.30. I forget. It's backwards. Jeremiah is after Micah. Somebody used to say, somebody wrote about us saying, God's with us. God's going to bless. Somebody wrote about that. And they didn't get the point. 